Hello and welcome back to IT Security Labs. In today's video, we will be exploiting Jerry from Hack the Box. Hack the Box is a platform where you can practice some security skills, IT security skills. And I'm learning for the OSCP and Jerry is one of the machines that's suggested for practicing before going for the OSCP. So as you can see here, Jerry is a Windows computer. It's supposed to be easy, 20 points. And the IP address is 10.10.10.95. So without wasting time, let's hop into our Kali Linux. Right here in Kali, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we're connected to the machine. And as you can see where our VPN is connected, I already went ahead and connected my VPN to hack the box platform. So uh, that's why I'm able to ping. And after that, let's just do our Nmap scan. And as I always do, I'm using the default scripts and I'm saving to a folder called Nmap. And I just say 95 there. And let's let it run and see what's going on with this machine. While I Nmap is running, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and liking this video. I'm on my journey to getting OSCP certified and I'm practicing hack the box machine and Vaughn Hub machines. And the goal is to do at least 40 of these machines. And so far, I think I'm with 15, 16, I can remember. So subscribe for all the videos that I'll be posting, a lot of them every week. And as you can see, we have a TCP 8080 <coughs> and the header for the website tells us that it's an Apache Tomcat. That's good to know. And we even have a version here. And so from here, I either I go ahead and throw my Durbuster, or uh, in this case, you can just go to the website and check the port 8080 to see what's going on there. So let's fire up Firefox. And Firefox is here. So we say 10.10.10.95. On port 8080 that's what we saw and it's the default Tomcat page and we have the normal information we kind of have to look around here to see if there's anything out of the way and as, as you can see we have the server status let's uh, open that okay it requires us to sign in let's go back uh, let's do a console here Oh, okay. That's interesting. I didn't even try. I was going to try the default uh, um, Tomcat, uh, like Tomcat, Tomcat, admin, admin. But over here, as you can see, it says you're not authorized. So I like to read everything. For, exam for example, the role, use a Tomcat with password secret. Okay. So it's telling us that uh, if we haven't done anything, let's try this. So before I even do the admin, admin, Tomcat, Tomcat business list, let's do that. This is an easy machine. So let's go to manager app, Tomcat, and the password. Oh, okay. If I do a cancel, I need to make sure that I got this right. So it's secret with the three. Okay. Now let's try one more time. Tomcat. The password is secret. Okay. Tomcat manager application. Let's let's try that one more time. And our password that we copied. Okay. Let me make sure that I'm pasting the correct password here. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I'm passing the wrong password. This is what I want. Secret. You know what? Let's type it in. <laughs> there we go. And as you can see, <laughs> we're in. I was just uh, being ridiculous. So this is uh, one of them. Let's open all three. 
this is the manager let's go to 10.10.10.95 host manager on opening a new tab tomcat secret save okay you know let me just poke around here that doesn't uh, that doesn't that doesn't help me let's see what I have here I'm I'm I've only worked with Tomcat through some of these capture the flags and only once so I don't know much but what I know is that there's some funny looking okay no so it looks like we can upload here something yeah we can upload the dot w the dot war or war file and this can't be that easy right <laughs> let's google that tom uh war pay reverse shell i just google random stuff to see what i can find sure enough yeah <laughs> yeah you can actually use um msf venom to come up with a reverse shell for tomcat as you can see here i see a block here uh msf payload okay so it looks like we can yeah this looks uh similar but uh instead of doing this I have my own way that I like to create my payloads and I verified that this is actually uh, allowed in the OSCP just using MSF Venom. I mean, this guide is the best. So far, I keep this as part of my bookmarks. But if I search for the WAR payload, uh, let's see, let's go to it here. So if I wanted to create a payload for that machine, this is what I just have to do. And this is allowed within the OSCP. So I can just copy this, fill this with my information, upload this to my target machine, and hopefully it will work uh, if Tomcat is really uh, that vulnerable. Then this will be one of the easiest machines that would have worked with if we can do this. Otherwise, I uh, would have to research the version and everything else. But um, let's go ahead and do that. Clear. I'm not sure if this is too small, but this is what I just copied and pasted from my uh, cheat sheet. But uh, what I need to do is I need to fill in this information for my local host, my local port, and the file type will be the dot war and this is uh, just uh, creating a re reverse shell for us so let's see what i can do here so we just fill in with our information it actually tells us your ip address here so my ip address is 10.10.14.33 local port i want my port to be one two three four the file is a dot war and i'm uh, outputting to shell dot war i don't care let's see if this works okay so it looks like um our payload was successfully generated as you can see here okay so we have our shell let's go back to our machine and see what we can do here uh actually let's just uh, start a listener netcat and to listen with netcat we, we just do an lvnp and we're listening on our port one two three four and let's upload our shell and see what happens browse i'm going to my documents these are all the machines that i've done and um we are on jerry shell wow 
open open deploy yep it looks like it worked so it's right here so since it's now here i can come here and so do a netcat negative l b n p one two three four i'm listening and if i click shell i'm going to trigger my shell and there we go we are there if i do an id okay get uid i think for windows that is interesting it, it is actually not letting me okay can i do a cd cd home dir um cd users let's see if i can see administrator here can i go to administrator yep so it looks like we are system guys let me verify that so if i go to the administrator's desktop i should see the flag right actually it's this <laughs> flags folder and from here i should be able to see uh two for one price dot text so that was easy i need to work on my windows command line as you can see but guys this was a very simple box um i appreciate you stopping by and checking out my channel i will be creating more of these videos so remember to subscribe and like and let me know in the comments below what are the things we should be working on otherwise i will see you guys in the next video